and the shot is called. Notice the clarification. Because if it comes in and you shoot a shove, whenever there's three backpedaling coming down behind it. I feel like you're speaking to someone specifically in the room. Mm. <laughs> Although I will say this, I've known of many occasions who got caught in that trap. But they would even shoot a coot doing that. Oh, well, a coot wouldn't be doing that. A coot would be doing that. <laughs> Pistol. Gotta have that. I gotta get some bullets. I'm about out of my super secret stash. We're finally getting to hunt the thaw. And, uh, as it's thawing out, we, uh, we're going back up in here into the sweet hole. The sweet hole is the, the hole we were in a few years ago, literally two years ago when Martin got that call about his dad. And uh, it was a pretty special moment the other day. We were hunting beside it, and we got to go in here and have a prayer. So I just ask right now that you would continue to send that spirit to comfort him and his family as they continue. Two years later, we can at least celebrate now in remembrance of his father. But uh, this is the first hunt in the sweet hole this morning. And so I'm hoping that uh, Mr. Jerry sends some ducks our way. Those kids, y'all, they drop pins on things when they see things. They pull out their phone, they take pictures, they drop pins. Yes, yeah, Bryce, he said, I don't know. I like that. You just here for the moment. I appreciate that. It's good. It teach more of your age to be like that. Follow the tour guide. We're on a Mallard Duck tour. She took too long, son. Yeah. 
No, he done waited too long. Crazy. Lord, I thank you for Copenhagen. Well, we got them. I even, I may have got a couple on camera. So, full service. Load the duck call, kill the ducks, then film the ducks. That's fun, though. First hunt of 2023, right here. New Year's Day. If that's how this year's gonna go, we're gonna be all right.
beavers got us this morning. They uh, chewed through the support and I almost busted my tail. So we got a we got our duck blinds at a 40 degree angle this morning. It makes for tough shotgunning. But adapt and overcome, right? Oh, Phil came up with it. This is tough right here. We got backwater. Yeah. Water's up. Ducks are spread out. Duck blinds are falling apart. Duck hunters are falling apart. I got shoulder injuries. Phil broke his back. There's three ducks right out front. There's three ducks. Watch it. And the reason I think it's the most powerful is because if you believe that, if you believe God created everything, then God's in control of everything. If God's in control of everything, He's sovereign. Thank you. We're running out of meat. scared to cook them. Find out a piece of meat. If you got a temperature probe, you can do anything. So, pat dry it, and I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. And uh, apply the rub, hook and hang and smoke to about 135 in the middle. Medium rare. I like to be generous with the rub. Cook it whole and slice it up. Corner two of them. We didn't we didn't even see. Phil, we walked out to the dog. Hey Phil, we we walked out to the dog to see if there was any ducks there. So you know that mound where we used to have that pit line that's in front of the northwest corner? I said, that looks like a deer looking at me. I mean, it wasn't a hundred yards from us. So he pulled his camera up and took a picture and blew it up. Oh, that thing was like this. I said, good grief. That's a, that's a bull. That's a monster. So John's house right beside us. Oh, cool. Yeah. You're a deer hunter all of a sudden. Uh huh? Oh, I don't care nothing about them deer. These boys. Oh, look at the big buck. I'm like, this is easy. I just walked out there and they were looking over at me and in the duck hole. And they're like, these duck hunters are going to run off all our deer. I'm like, we didn't run off them two. We go eat this meal. Y'all about. Father, we thank you for another day on planet Earth. Some are injured, some are weary, and uh, there's quite a few of us getting old. 
But I would pray, Father, that you give us a few more years on planet Earth. The resurrection is the only thing we have. It's your son, Jesus. We sure thank you for sending it. It gives us a great hope. Thank you for the grub today. Help us always follow you and be faithful to you and reach out to our fellow man, loving you and loving each other. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Pull that new rubbish. Well, let the guests go first, I see. <laughs> well, I was just showing well, my the way. way. Well, 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 well. Well. I'd be scribbling the ball going for the goal. If I get out of the way, I'd lay it up, make two points, and the coach would be, get on him, go on him. And they'd come running back and say, coach, he stinks. He stinks like a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> it really, it just had an impact on me. You know, I was like, man, I've never, I've never taken that for granted. You know, once that trip. Was that after? I've been for a long time. Grab this jersey, see your real update. It's a rare dog. Rare dog. It looked like a chicken, like a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> it fell to rain up, ball. And he said, that ain't no rare, Doug. Yeah, that's a woody. Yeah, that's a woody. Yeah, he's just a woody. Yeah, it looked like a horse.